is for pilgrim. A Thanksgiving alphabet. From the lives of our early settlers, who established the foundations for American freedoms and ideals, to today's celebrations, P is for Pilgrim colorfully examines the history and lore of Thanksgiving. Author Carol Crane's lilting poems will captivate young readers, while the core democratic values woven into the informative sidebar text will be of tremendous value to teachers students and parents. Warmly and charmingly illustrated by Helly Urban, Peas for Pilgrims, a Thanksgiving alphabet is a treasure for all readers. Across the Atlantic Ocean, a lone ship on a vast sea, ablaze with new hope, all praying to be free. The Mayflower, en route to America, landed at Plymouth, 1620. The Pilgrims were not the first Europeans to come to the New World. In 1607, the settlement of Jamestown began. The Mayflower landed at Plymouth in 1620. The Pilgrims wanted an English way of life, but they wanted to be able to choose their own religion, to be free of the king's taxes, and to farm their own land. They spoke the same language, wore the same clothes, and worshipped the same way. They had no diversity until they met the Native Americans who had their own language, wore their own style of garments, and worshipped their great spirits. In America today, we have many diverse cultures. Diversity of citizens means different cultures sharing the land, schools, and privileges of our country. In the 1600s, it was the Europeans who came to this new world, who came to this new land. In the 1700s, People from different countries arrived. By the 1800s, millions of immigrants poured into the United States, escaping poverty, religious persecution, war, and unjust taxes. <laughs>